Hey everybody, this is TJR, and it's finally here. After a couple years of drama, we have here, at least what I hope we have here, is the Animals Remix from Pink Floyd. And so we're just gonna do an unboxing here and take a look here. Um, packaging looks very secure and sturdy as far as how they packed it. And in case you're wondering, no, I did not order the box set. I knew I wasn't going to, and I think I said that in my previous videos that I wasn't going to. I was initially going to buy the, either I was thinking the CD or the Blu-ray, and I was leaning towards getting the CD and probably buying the Blu-ray as a separate thing. And then I saw that the price went down on the vinyl record to where it wasn't that much more than the CD. In fact, just a couple bucks difference. And when I saw that price drop, I decided, okay, snag the vinyl. Um, it's a weird marketplace, of course, but at this point, the vinyl record will have more resale value if I ever do decide to move on from it. Um, I have been thinking about it since I pre-ordered it, and I've decided I will uh, go purchase the Blu-ray separately. But here it is in the shrink wrap, back cover, and let's take a look at the hype sticker. Pink Floyd Animals 2018 Remix. The stereo remixed album on heavyweight 180 gram vinyl. And then it just lists the tracks. Uh, mastered by James Guthrie. Joel, I have been pronouncing this plante, but I heard uh, someone pronounce it as plant the other day. P-L-A-N-T-E, hopefully I've said it right, and Bernie Grudman. And these are the same names that we had on the, uh, the last remaster to CD and vinyl, the same names we had. So let's go ahead here. I'm gonna try to open this up here. This is on a gatefold, I can already tell. Very thick. And uh, let's try to get it opened up here. Here we go. Okay. And here. You can play with this if you like, little guy. There you go. Let's take a look at this now. Of course, I've seen the photos, but there's nothing quite like holding it in your hand. Let me give you uh, another look here. Back cover. Let's open it up here. Okay, you open it up here, and of course you see the interior gatefold from the original album. Let's see here. We have a booklet here, and then we have the record on the other sleeve here. Let's look at the booklet first. Let's take a look here. Um, this booklet, wow, let me look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> That is very cool. Let's look at the back here. Back. Let me look at that for a moment. Oh, okay. Huh. I wonder where they got this picture from right here. It says Pink Floyd live here. Um, this booklet is thicker than I would have expected. Uh, also, the quality that I feel when I touch this cover here. Very thick, heavy stock paper. Let's take a look here uh, inside. There's the original cover right here to my left. Here are some of these photos I think I've seen before, some I have not here. On, on my right. Let's take a look here. 
more photos here where you can, of course, see the famous power plant. And let's see here. Oh, okay. I'm guessing these were from the original photo sessions right here. Let me see here. There's some credits down here. Yeah, day two photograph of algae the pig above Buttersea Power Station, Saturday 4th of November, 1976. So yeah, so this is from the photo shoot here. And uh, more very impressive pictures here taken from the photo shoot. Very nice. Here we have the lyrics and we have more photos. Some of these photos I've seen before. Some of these were included with the CD edition that came out several years back. And the LP re-released it also, you know, as well. Actually, no. The LP stayed with all the original packaging. These, these extra additional photos that I recognize, the ones I do recognize, were from the CD edition. Here we go. I don't think I've ever seen these photos before. Maybe you have, but I haven't. If you had, let us know. Oops. Okay, we're back. A very unexpected interruption. And so, again, more photos from the photo shoot. I can't get over how nice this booklet is, the, the level of quality uh, and the printing, uh, the textured feel of it. Um, here we have the band photos from the time period when they were young. I remember being young once. There we go. I don't think I've ever seen these particular photos before. Here we have some memorabilia. And I think the word is ephemera. Oh, okay. Here is some, uh, yeah, over here on this, to my, to my left, is a concept sketch. Some of the inflatables used for the In the Flesh tour. Let's see here. Yeah, more. We've got photos and concept art for the inflatables here. Huh. And this is the, the last two pages in the book. <clears throat> this is a nice book, really nice. Um, one thing that is missing from this booklet, of course, is the essay um, that was a point of contention between some of the band members. I'm sure you know who, and it's not included here. And uh, Roger Waters posted it on his website. You can read them there if you want. It's a shame. Um, and then here we have the album. There's that familiar original label. You know, for all the effort went into this, I'm not saying it's not a nice paper sleeve, but it's a plain paper sleeve. No anti-static material inside. So after I give it its first cleaning before playing it the first time, I will put it in an anti-static sleeve to help protect it. Let me take a look at it here. There's the vinyl right there. No colored vinyl, just standard black vinyl. But looking at this though, dang, it's very clean. Yeah, I am not seeing any, any debris at all. Not even a faint hint of it. So nicely made coming out of the factory. Um, yeah, that would be the only quibble is just plain uh, construction paper sleeve. Um, no, um, no anesthetic inside, so. 
but still very nice off the factory. I certainly have seen worse, you know, where they've come back, you know, right out, right brand new, there's like tons of debris on it uh, that you want to clean off first before you, before you play it the first time and before I play it the first time and before I rip it as well. But nice package on this final record here. And yeah, I think I'm gonna go get the Blu-ray as a separate purchase. And uh, that's uh, super fan in the distance, in case you're wondering. <coughs> you okay, super fan? Hi, everybody, sorry. <laughs> Poor thing. I'm sitting here trying to be quiet and not show. Uh, you, uh... I failed. <laughs> well, initially, yeah. Um, but it was nice of you to pick up that phone call that came in. And, uh, and you don't have to hide. Everybody likes hearing from you. I know, but you, you didn't seem to I didn't introduce you at first because you were kind of, um, you were, you were, you were, uh, you were, how shall I say? Uh, um, sleeping? We were, uh, sleeping. Yes, you were sleeping when you, I first came down here. So I just left you be. Uh, I didn't want to disturb you. But the phone woke you up. Thanks for getting it. And anyways, though, yeah, so very nice. I am gonna see about picking up that Blu-ray separately. And um, I'm gonna listen to this. I'm gonna compare it to the original mix, do a review, um, not right away. I don't try to do that anymore, where I try to get the review in within 24 hours. I like to take a little more time and live with it a little more. But you never know. I have done it fast on some occasions. But yeah, hopefully later in the week. It's, it's uh, of course, Friday, release date. Um, I don't think I'll have it by this weekend, but, uh, if, but you never know. But maybe early in the week, at the very latest by next weekend. Um, also, this weekend, uh, be looking for a CD versus vinyl, which I filmed earlier uh, for this week. Uh, to go out this weekend on release weekend for this uh, album, for this remix here. Um, a CD versus vinyl on the last issuing of the album. Uh, the one um, where we've, uh, you know, the, both the CD and the vinyl, the 2011, I think it was, 2011 for the CD, I think the, the vinyl came out the same year or a year later, roughly, <coughs> give or take. Uh, that one also, like I just said before, mastered by James Guthrie and Joe Plante, and of course the cut on the vinyl is from Bernie Grunman, so yeah. Be looking for that this weekend. Hopefully you'll enjoy that too in the meantime. And oh, and um, little guy here also shared his thoughts on that album too, which he's never done before. So you'll probably hopefully enjoy that. He had some, he had a rather interesting observation about it, but I won't tell you now because I want you to watch the video. So everybody, thanks for hanging out. As always, if you like these videos, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. And a big thank you to the patron supporters. You are very so mighty. Thank you, Superfan. And patron supporters receive exclusive weekly videos not available here on the channel uh, that they receive. And uh, they also get their names in the credits. Um, go to patreon.com forward slash TJR the original. Thank you so much for hanging out and thank you for making it to the end of the video. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.